right, everybody, I want to show you how we're laying this fence out. Um, you're going to hear some background noise. That's just the dudes up in the front of the property driving posts. But uh, essentially, all you got to do is put your post in, your corner posts, and then uh, we have a post all the way up at the front of the property. And when we ran a string of barbed wire down and uh, we pulled that barbed wire tight, that way we could get a straight line. We attached it here to the post with a staple. And then uh, you just get one of the walk beater things with the wheels on it so you can measure. And uh, since this is a corner post, you need an H brace. So we come down our line here. We went seven feet, marked the ground, and uh, we'll tie another board seven foot, seven foot. These boards are seven feet long, so that'll tie in, make the H brace. And then uh, this is goat goat and sheep wire fence so from that that post uh, every 12 feet we just marked another one and uh, 12 foot again 12 foot again and then you just we just came and laid all these boards and uh, that's how we went. get all the boards laid out and then they got a hammer on the front of the skid steer it's hydraulic and then they just hammer the post in uh, so that's what they're doing now. That's how I laid this out and marked the ground. And uh, I'll show you the fence when it's done. All right, it's uh, pretty cold out today, but I got stuff to get done, so we're going to try to get it done. Uh, I'm going to try to hang this gate. This is a 16-foot metal gate, and it came uh, kind of pre-set up where I would want it. Uh, this mount hardware for the gate is about halfway from the post to the corner. So that's uh that'd be good and this is closer to the bottom so that's good for me too i've never hung a gate but uh what i plan on doing is measuring the distance from the bottom of the gate to this first latch and i'm going to do that from the ground uh, once i get that measurement i'm going to measure from the ground up and then i'm going to add um, at least two inches probably two and a half I'll split the difference between two and three I'll probably add two and a half inches I'll make my first mark and that's where I can put uh, one of the first bolts in um, so once I make that mark and get the bolt drilled um, I can kind of pre hang the gate and then see where uh, this next uh, mount bracket should go um, I'm either gonna do it that way or I'm just gonna measure up mark drill that hole and then I'll measure the distance from the bottom of this mount to the bottom of that mount and drill that hole and then uh, <clears throat> then I can get it hung and we can do our adjustments so let's see how this goes I did get it hung. I did end up moving this uh, down, so uh, no big deal. I got it turned to where you can't just lift the gate and take it off the hinges, which really doesn't matter. It's not a huge security gate. It's just meant to keep uh, animals in or out. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> but I did get it hung, put a level on here, and it's actually high on the 
side that I need it to be high on so it's not hanging if the gate was hanging from the hinge um, the level would be more like this that means it's out of level sagging so I actually tightened it up a little bit to where uh, it'd be a little out of level where it's not sagging because it is cold we're gonna get hot and cold uh, weather uh, this this wood can contract and expand and just like everything else mother nature can make stuff move so we got it hung to where it's just a little high on this end and the gate opens fine so that's perfect that's what I need and uh, this is gonna do a good job do what it's supposed to I got a chain here um, I don't know maybe I'll get a nail to just keep it in place we'll keep it chained eventually I'm gonna put a automatic gate uh, opener on this I've been looking at them probably the ghost it'll mount on here and uh, connect to this probably connect right here on the bar and it'll swing open and closed so I'm not gonna put a latch on this but the gates did come with a chain so I can use the chain for now just so the gate don't fly open or closed and then uh, we will get an automatic gate on it so this is our main driveway and we're definitely gonna need it so again that's how you hang a gate sorry you didn't get to see the whole thing uh, what I did was I just measured the bottom of the gate up to here I added two and a half inches uh, figured out what that measurement was was seven inches for me um, I measured from the ground up seven inches made my first mark drilled the hole put this first bolt in just kind of guessed on the depth gave me a little room so I could do a couple more turns if needed to um, got it on hung the gate mocked it up over here with a piece of wood uh, kind of eyeball guesstimated where this was because this moves made another line drill another hole and then uh, once I got that uh, put it back on here mocked it up on this end again with a piece of wood loosened this bracket flipped this around where it was facing down and then I just slid it up all the way tighten the bracket and uh, check for level and then if you do that if it's out of level then you know uh, if you need it to come up more you'll just turn this in a few if you need it to go back you just loosen this a few and that'll get you level uh, I didn't have to do much it was a little higher than level as it is so that was perfect for me I appreciate you guys watching hope you got something out of uh, hanging this gate fence is pretty much done I still got to hang this gate but the grounds froze so I'll have to wait a little bit a couple days Hopefully it'll warm up enough. I'll get the tractor out here. I gotta dig this part out so I can hang this gate. This is the only gate I have that's on a down slope. So I need to dig out a little bit of this ground so it's not up so high over here. Uh, but this is how the fence turned out. These are all wood posts and uh, some of these get up to about nine inches. Did sheep and goat wire. So I wanna say these are this whole uh, fence is four inch squares and then uh, I got one strand of barbed wire at the top of the fence and uh, that just keeps the if you have any uh, cows um, larger animals like that if you don't have the barbed wire on the top uh, it, it won't poke them enough to get them off the fence so they're more liable to lean and rub on it and everything and they might damage it or uh, loosen that part of the fence so uh, this is how it turned out we got a fair amount of it but uh, I just kind of wanted to show you how it was looking these posts are you know we marked every 12 feet um, they're gonna be just a tad bit closer because that's just one spray line and then we put the post in so it's not exactly 12 feet but it's pretty close and then uh, H braces on all the corners 
and anywhere that there's a gate. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, this is it, man. This is how it turned out, and it's it's a good sturdy fence. All these posts were driven. Uh, so you can see there's no loose dirt on any of them. Uh, these were all driven down in the ground, so they should be sturdier than having loose loose dirt. I don't have to worry about tamping it or packing it or putting concrete or none of that stuff. It's going to cause the the post to rot. Uh, I'm trying to get over here. It's the pond that we started digging out. I'm trying to get over here and show you any kind there's a curve or a corner. We did a H brace. Um, as you can see here off the back of this dam. And again another curve corner. Got another H brace. Eight brace off in the corner there. It's already grabbed a little footage of our main gate I hung it yesterday, but I had to finish pulling some of this wire. Uh, help those guys finish the the fence because we had to wrap the wire on these posts in order for me to hang these other gates. So since the ground's froze over there and I can't really dig that ground out to hang that one gate. Uh, I don't need to dig the ground out here, so I'm going to freeze a little bit, hang this gate instead. This is a 16 foot gate, comes from the main part of our property back here, that way we can get out the back side. Um, I didn't want to, you know, I ran the fence down this side and down this end. And I could have went further down that end and then just connected it down here at the corner, but that's low ground. And if I wanted to get on that side of the property, I'd have had to put a gate. I'd have had to put a gate over here. And then I would have had to put a gate down here. So just keeping it up on the high side would keep the post drier in the soil, allowing it to breathe. So these should last longer than if they were down there. Cause like I said, there's a huge ditch line and all the ground surrounding it slopes down there so the post wouldn't last as long and I would have had to do done two gates instead of just one so we put it up here but anyways that's enough of me chatting um, I'm gonna try to grab this gate get it hung I'll get a little footage of it and uh, that's pretty much it that's the the fence build and um, in another clip I, I kind of showed you how we laid it out and got our runs and all that stuff so i hope this uh, footage and video was helpful to somebody um, comment down below and let us know how you built your your uh, fence if you did it differently or the same or any questions or whatever you have i'll try to answer them the best i can but i 